Hey, what's up everybody? How's it going? I'm the friend and welcome back to the next episode of my Diablo 2 Lord Structure Let's Play with the Amazon. Alright, so in the last episode we did make our way into the uh, Throne Room of Destruction and uh, we took on Bale's minions and we destroyed them pretty handily. It really wasn't that difficult. The last wave was slightly difficult. They were able to take down my mercenary, but my Valkyrie was pretty awesome and able to hold them off or tank them. Uh, enough for me to shoot them from afar like, you know, the Boazon does. But anyways, in today's episode, we're going to be making our way into the Worldstone Chamber, I believe it's called, and uh, taking on Bale himself. So let's get going. Head on back to the Throne Room of Destruction. And uh, since we have taken down all the minions of Bale, we can now head through uh, the, the portal here to the Worldstone Chamber and take on Bale. But before we do that, go over a few things. Uh, like I kind of mentioned in the last episode, I do only have health potions because I will not be using any mana. I will strictly be using Magic Arrow because it's, uh, <laughs> excuse me, it's a single target damage and it does just a little bit more damage in general. As you can see, Multiple Shot does this much damage and Magic Arrow does about 80 more damage. Um, so it just does a little bit more and uh, I think the attack rating is a lot better too. Yeah, attack rating is uh, like triple. <laughs> so I'm going to be hitting a lot more with Magic Arrow in general. Uh, but since it, you know, it's also a single target damage, you know, I don't need to shoot out multiple arrows because I'm only going to be hitting one target anyways. But anyways, that is that. Uh, oh, yeah, I guess also I don't need any mana potions, I guess, because Magic Arrow doesn't take any mana because um, I have it high enough that it doesn't uh, cost any mana to use. But anyways, that is that. We're going to be heading through. The, the portal here and taking on Bale. All right, we, what we're going to be trying to do here is actually, we, we we don't really want to head back to town. That's the goal. That's the goal, everybody. Don't head back to town. And we want to uh, not get hit by too many of his attacks. And hopefully our uh, mercenary and our Valkyrie will do so. What is my, oh my gosh, what is my Valkyrie doing? He is just standing off, doing nothing. Super annoying. Oh, see, this is what you don't like to have happen. Uh, when sometimes you will get Bale to, uh, he kind of has a clone of himself, and that's kind of annoying. <laughs> and you can tell which one is the real one and which one is the fake one. If you look at the names, the, uh, the demon, uh, <clears throat> the, the demon, uh, class or whatever is, uh, directly below on the, the fake one and is kind of off-centered on the, the real one. And this is annoying. So I'm going to actually head back to town. Looks like I failed. <laughs> I failed everybody, my bad. Anyways, we're going to resurrect this guy. And hopefully by the time we get back, the, the clone will be gone. He does kind of disappear after a little while. We do not want to uh, deal with the clone at the same time as we're dealing with Bale. It's not what we want to have uh, happen. Going to head back here and we're just going to set up another one. Just uh, for good measure. And it looks like the clone is gone, which is good. And hopefully my Valkyrie will be able to uh, actually do something this time. And I cannot take uh, any of those attacks, really, because uh, I am super weak or super not tanky, I guess. <laughs> and I really wish my Valkyrie would stop attacking the uh, the, the tentacle thingies and start attacking Bale. Uh, looks like my mercenary died again. Awesome. That's great. Yeah, he's going to die a lot. Maybe I should just not resurrect him. My uh, my Valkyrie should be able to uh, do some work. And this is essentially what the battle is going to be like, everybody. Me standing here, uh, not doing a whole lot except shooting arrows and drinking a lot of potions. While my Valkyrie hopefully uh, tanks all the damage for us, except for all that damage I just took. Ouch. Anyways, we're going to run over here. And hopefully not take too much damage. Looks like we got not quite a quarter health. Yep, this is the battle, everybody. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome, I have to say. Um, not really taking too much damage, thankfully. Okay. Okay. Not cool. Not cool. Not cool. Not cool. Not cool. All right. So that happened. Um, <clears throat> I might have to run back to town again just to get the... The clone to go away, and that's just kind of the tactic, I guess. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. I don't want that clone to be bothering me. So we're going to head back to town and just pick up more potions, because why not? I am not going to be resurrecting my 
mercenary because he just dies way too quickly and not worth keeping up. So we're going to head back here, throw down another portal, and see hopefully that, yep, so the, uh, the clone has gone away, thankfully. And maybe one thing we can do is, ouch, is use that. That will lower defense a little bit. That will allow me to, oh my gosh, there's another, there's another one. Anyways, see what kind of damage we can do here. And uh, as you can see, I was using Inner Sight, I believe it's called, to uh, lower his defense a little bit, maybe get a little bit more damage off. Going to uh, use a potion there, use Inner Sight, use a potion, and start hitting him some more. And this is so exciting. <laughs> Oh well, it, you know, this is just kind of the fun of the game, I guess, I don't know. Teleporting around, and I'm going to use Inner Sight, and start hitting him again. Okay, 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 okay. So we're going to head back over here, go back, and do this again, and use that. Gonna use inner sight. There we go. Switch back to that. And we don't really care that he's taking away all my mana because I don't use any mana to use magic arrow. Kinda nice. And that really doesn't do too much damage. It is, you know, kind of annoying because it does slow us, but it's just kind of whatever. And it looks like we got him to about quarter health. And I'm getting hit by these tentacle things, so I'm going to uh, run back over this away. Use Inner Sight again. And just kind of have this be the, uh, the tactic, I guess. Yeah, they will. Yeah. Okay, so we got the the minion or the the clone again. Again, so we're gonna head back to town, and just kind of repeating this process. Kind of how you gotta do things. Really hoping that he wouldn't spawn clone his clone too often, so I wouldn't have to go back to town so much. But it's just kind of the way it is, I suppose. And I really wish my Valkyrie was like right in front of the. There you go. Good job, Valkyrie. Sometimes you just gotta place it where you wanna want her to be. Here we go. Good job, Valkyrie. Gonna use a potion on myself there. Did get kind of low. And just keep hitting him. And it looks like almost to half health. Valkyrie is holding up pretty well. Not really taking too much damage. I got quite a few points into Valkyrie. I think I have like 12 points or something like that. Got her to be pretty dang strong. A lot stronger than my uh, my mercenary, that is. Which is, yeah, it's okay, I guess. I might be switching out my Valkyrie in the next act. Um, <clears throat> getting a different, diff a little bit different aura on my mercenary. Right now I have the defensive one. I might go for the Holy Freeze one. We'll see what happens. Just gonna keep hitting here, and Valkyrie, you gotta, you gotta like do the right thing, as in not, don't attack the tentacles. That that's something you don't want to do. Uh, really, with any character, is attack the tentacles, um, just cause yeah, this is really not necessary. You don't, ha you can just run away from them, stand somewhere else, <laughs> and I don't know. It's just a waste of time, in my opinion. Looks like we got him to about half health here, and try and move here there we go and he's right in my face going to move and I'm gonna move over here and use a potion on myself and start hitting him again with magic arrow and yep <laughs> it is aggroing my my Valkyrie which is good so I'm not getting hit by those ice attacks there which is uh, definitely very beneficial, except for that one I just got hit by. Um, 
The, those do slow you down, which uh, will make you attack slower. Definitely annoying. And uh, the reason this is taking so long, again, is because I am playing on players 8. And, you know, that's going to make him hit pretty a bit harder, but he also just has immensely a lot more health. <laughs> and that's really what's just taking so long. If I, if I was playing on players 1, uh, this would have probably be over already. Um, but it is players 8, so he has a crap ton of health. And as, as you may, may have noticed there, I did uh, use my Valkyrie, or make my Valkyrie, ouch, ouch, ouch. I did uh, respawn my Valkyrie, is what I was trying to say. Respawn my Valkyrie uh, so that it is in front of Bale there. <clears throat> and I'm going to do that one more time. Because she was attacking the... Uh, the uh, the tentacle things and that is not what you want. Where did you go? Okay, he did it. He did it. He gone done it, everybody. We we're doing so well, Bale. We were doing so well. All right, so we're gonna buy a few more of these guys and head back uh, back in. Gonna go ahead and put down another one of those and. Head over here, where we have a little bit more room. And Valkyrie, can you please? Oh my gosh! Right when I get here, can you can you please walk? Thank you. All right, so just gonna just gonna heal up like that. Head back. Whoops! I just used a potion on accident. But that's okay. What? You're supposed to be gone. Oh well. See what damage we can do here. I am attacking the right one. Okay, that's annoying. I'm just just gone done. Got annoyed. All right, so. Buy some more potions. Hopefully, he will be gone. What kind of? Oh yeah, I'm not using any arrows because I'm using magic arrow. That's right. Forgot. Anyways, put down another one of those. You better be gone. Okay, he's gone. This guy. This guy. Okay. Whoops. Here we go. Alright, so he is below half health. Uh, well below half health, that is. Almost to a quarter health, actually. There we go. Start hitting him again. Don't care about your mana drain. Gonna run over here, so I'm not getting a hit by the tentacles. Use another potion on myself. Run over this way. Here we go. Look, I think he's below a quarter now. That's good. See, as you guys can see, it's really not that difficult of a battle. You just gotta kind of know what to do. If the uh, the clone spawns, you can go back to town and he will go away. You can also just kind of run over here. Uh, here, I'll, I'll show it off because uh, he did just uh, spawn his clone again. You can just run over here. And I believe if you just wait uh, a good amount of time, not like forever but like a couple like a minute uh, pick up this money that's over here he may be gone the clone that is by the time we uh, we walk back on over there so let's just pick up this money in the meantime and see let's see what happens is he gone he better be gone and oh hey I think he's gone nice see that works sometimes if uh, you don't want to go back to town or if you run out of town portals or something crazy like that and uh, you have you don't know what to do just run over there and uh, the clone will go away after a while and I need my Valkyrie to be over here so I'm gonna respawn her over there and I'm gonna run over this way because I don't want to get hit by those tentacles I'm going to uh, use inner sight again and he is almost dead everybody he's down uh, to like an eighth health or something like that it is this very very small amount of health left <clears throat> going to just keep hitting him here use that whoops Run away. Ow. Really, pal? Really? And he's going to be dying here in just a little bit. 
Use Intersight again, and almost dead. Wow, I'm almost dead. Holy cow. And almost got him. A few more hits here, maybe. <laughs> and there we go. That is bail, everybody. What did you drop? You got a few... Uh, looks like a few uh, unique items going to uh, throw these potions into my belt and then just drink the rest of them because I don't feel like selling them Too lazy pick up. No pick up the broad sword and the uh, These two items because they are unique and small charm will pick you up see what you are and Fanged mace that'll fit right there and broadsword. We don't care about you. All right So let's head back to town after we talk to Tyrael and uh, he says he is impressed, mortal, and a bunch of other stuff. And he congratulates us, and uh, for defeating all the prime evils. Um, but um, <clears throat> you know, I'm I'm not going to explain the story. Anyways, uh, we can head into this portal, and that will uh, end the difficulty. But first off, we're going to head back to town here, and have it shake uncontrollably. We want to go identify our items, and we also level it up there. So. We'll probably put our points somewhere and uh, identify our stuff here. And so let's just see what the stuff is. Um, kind of crappy items, I'll tell you that much. But uh, we can get rid of that guy. Trade this. See ya. Where are you? You suck. All right. So let's see what we can do with our inventory. So we want to probably throw these points into do I want a few more points into strength I think I might want a few more points into strength for possibly a better armor so we're gonna throw five more points into strength there and throw this point into most likely Valkyrie <laughs> yeah I think that's what's gonna be we're gonna throw another point into Valkyrie there get her up even stronger all right so that that was that was normal difficulty everybody uh, Thanks for joining me, I guess. Let's head back uh, to the uh, World Stone Chamber. And uh, yeah, thanks for joining me, everybody. This was a lot of fun uh, playing through this difficulty. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be heading into Nightmare, Nightmare Difficulty with this character. Uh, I'm going to do another uh, series with the same character in Nightmare, Nightmare Difficulty for you guys. You guys have been requesting it, so I'm going to deliver. And we'll see what we can do in Nightmare. Hopefully, uh, this character slash build is up to the challenge but we're gonna save that for another episode so if you guys like what you saw go ahead and hit that like button if you have any comments questions advice go ahead and leave those in the comment section if you like to stay up to date with what i'm doing here with my diablo 2 lore instruction let's play go ahead and hit that subscribe button i also appreciate it if you went over to my facebook page and my twitch page and like to follow me over there but until next time hope you guys have a wonderful day and i'll catch you all next time let's head on in here there we go congratulations and we will be known as slayer alice all right so Catch you guys later.